Hi everyone, I hope you're doing well and I'm so excited that you decided to join me in this 25 minute lower body calisthenics workout. So as it's a calisthenics workout, we won't be needing any equipment at all, no weights, nothing. We're gonna be using the power of our body weight. However, if you have one available, I would recommend grabbing a yoga block or a book or just something to elevate your feet because we will be going into some front foot elevated lunges just to provide that little bit more of intensity in those lunges since of course we aren't using any weights, any extra external resistance. So there will be a warm up and a cool down in this workout and then the structure of the workout itself, there's going to be 11 exercises and for each exercise we're going to be doing 30 seconds of normal reps, 30 seconds we're doing each rep with an extra pulse and then 30 seconds we're just going to be holding that most challenging position of the move isometrically. We will then have 30 seconds rest before we move on to the next exercise and we'll only be doing each exercise once through. So there will be no repeats in this workout. However, the mixture of the reps, the pulses and the hold will definitely have your legs burning after each exercise. So make sure you grab your water, you grab your towel because I have a feeling that even though it looks slightly easier on paper, um, we are going to be definitely feeling the burn. So I hope you're excited and without further delay, I'm going to press the timer and let's get started. Alright, so first we're just going into that warm-up and first we're just going to take some lunges. So we're lunging back, alternating legs. We don't have to go super fast here, we're just warming up the muscles of the lower body. Trying to keep our chest upright and looking forward so not letting ourselves twist too much from side to side. Perfect. Now we're just going to have our feet close together and we're going to be going into some calf raises. So really squeezing up and holding at the top for a couple of seconds. Squeezing your glutes, your calves, your entire legs really as you come up. Warming up the lower body, particularly the calves, the feet and the ankles. Perfect, now we're just gonna take a slightly wider stance. We're gonna go into the bottom of the squat as far as you can comfortably go. And we're just gonna sit here for a little bit. We can also rotate our hands side to side, getting in a little bit of that thoracic rotation. So warming up the upper body, the chest and the back, as well as the legs here. And we're really just working a little bit on that mobility as well. This one's a pretty challenging move for me. As you can see probably, I'm not quite mobile enough to be doing it with perfect form. All right, so now we're just gonna lay on the ground and the final warm up exercise, we're just gonna go into a glute bridge and we're gonna be marching, which means we're just gonna be raising one foot off the floor at a time and then putting it back down. As we raise off, really squeezing that leg, especially those hamstrings and glutes, to keep ourselves elevated, so to keep our bum high up in the air. You can hold a couple seconds each time you lift your leg off. Perfect, and now we've got 20 seconds to get ready for the workout, so I'll just grab a quick drink of water and then we'll go straight into that first move. So I hope you're ready for the workout guys. It's definitely gonna be spicier than it looks. All right, so let's take a wide stance. And the first move we're gonna go into is some sumo squats. So keeping our chest up, wide stance, into those sumo squats. Remember, for the first 30 seconds here, we're just doing normal reps, up and down. as low as is comfortable for you to go. Perfect, so we're not resting now. We're going into that rep with the pulse. So going as low down as you can, raising a little bit, 
and doing that little pulse. The pulse really adds that intensity. I can feel it almost immediately. But keep going now. Perfect, and now we're just holding for the last 30 seconds. So go down as low as is comfortable, wide stance, chest up as much as you can. I don't know why I'm clutching my hands like this. You can have them however is comfortable and keep breathing through that hole. 15 seconds left. You can put your hands above your head. 10 seconds. Let's go, let's go. Keep going everyone. Perfect, 30 seconds rest. Hi, hi, hi. The hold is definitely the hardest part, but shake it out. Grab some water if you need. And next move we're gonna be going into is a lateral leg lift. So again, we're gonna be doing 30 second full reps, 30 second rep with a pulse, and then a 30 second hold. Next round, we'll be switching to the other leg. So I'd recommend starting with your weaker leg. All right, let's go. So, keeping your torso straight, pointing forwards, and we're just lifting with our leg laterally as far as it will go. And you know the drill, we're going into that rep with a pulse. Well, if you need to hold on to something for balance, please do so. You can use a wall, a chair, or if you don't have anything to hold on to like me, we're just gonna go ahead and challenge our balance. So try and look at one spot directly in front of you. And now we're lifting up into that hold. 30 seconds, remember. If you need to drop it at any point, by all means, drop it and then get right back into it. Whew. All right, 15 seconds. Keep holding now. Really working on those glutes here. Whew. My leg wants to fall, but I won't let it. Five seconds left. Let's go. Perfect, and 30 seconds rest. Whew. I really feel it in the glute of the other leg, so the leg that was on the ground. All right, so you know the drill. We're gonna go into that other leg in about 10 seconds. Whew. All right, let's go. So lifting that leg up, normal reps to start with. I can really feel the burn in that glute as I lift it up. But that's what we want. I told you guys they would still be effective even without any weights. Remember to keep breathing. All right, so now we're going into that rep with a pulse at the top. So only go as high as you can control. And remember, look at that point in front of you for balance. Oh, that pulse was not so good. I'm losing my balance here. All right. If you're losing your balance, compose yourself and keep going. All right, so now we're gonna hold it out. I'm trying to hold for the full 30 seconds. Trying to keep your legs straight. If you have a slight bend in your knees, that's fine as well. Come on, 10 more seconds. Oh, and rest. So I can definitely feel that one. All right, shake it out. 
grab some water and next we're going to be going into some squats with a narrow stance so in that narrow stance and squatting down but for now i'm going to drink my water Oh, shake it out. And let's go into that narrow squat. So try and have your feet together or as close together as possible. Really challenging our mobility here. We're sitting our hips back. It's all right if your chest comes forward ever so slightly with this one. You'll have to have really good mobility to keep it completely upright. Now remember, even if you can only go this low, that's perfectly fine. All right, now we're adding that pulse at the bottom. So one rep and then an extra pulse. As you get more comfortable with the move, try and put your feet a little bit closer in together, really getting that narrow stance. And we're going into that hole. So let me show you from the front so you can see the pain on my face as I'm experiencing this with you. And we're holding for another 20 seconds. Keep breathing. come up we've got that 30 second rest take that rest because next exercise is going to be a killer too all right so at this point if you do have that yoga block or book or weight plate just to elevate your foot a little bit we are going to be using it we're going to be doing some front foot elevated lunges so one side is lunging for the full round all right, so elevate that front foot, back foot behind, take a wider stance for more balance, and we're going into that lunge. Remember, just normal reps for the first 30 seconds. Try and go as low as you can. You can leave your knees slightly above the floor or put it down on the floor. All right, now we're going into that rep with a pulse. Keep breathing now. I know it's getting tough, but you've got this. Whew. Let's keep going. Don't give up now. Take a breather and we've got 30 seconds of that isometric hold. We've got this everyone. <sighs> Keep breathing now. 30 seconds rest after this. 15 seconds left. <sighs> I know it's burning but keep going. Rest. Hi, hi, hi. That one really burns, especially with that elevation, really increasing that range of motion. All right, shake it out, because in about 15 seconds, we're doing the same thing on the opposite leg. Grab some water quickly. All right, let's go. Other foot elevated, and first we're going in to those normal reps. My back leg is so fried, it doesn't want to cooperate with me. Oh, okay into that rep with a pulse now. So down, pulse, 
and up. Keep going now. All right, we're going into that hold. If you need to shake it out for a couple seconds like I do, do so, but don't take a longer break than you need to. And then let's go straight into that hold. 15 seconds left. 10. I'm sorry guys for putting you through so much pain, but it will be worth it once we see those results. All right, put that block to the side for now. Shake out your legs, grab some water. And next exercise, we're just going into some normal squats. So about shoulder width or the normal stance that you use to squat. And first, we're going into those full reps. All right, so shoulder width or a little bit outside. I know your legs are burning. Even if you have to go slowly, just try to keep moving. This is the last exercise standing up. After this, we're gonna go down to the floor, work those glutes and hamstrings a little bit with some bridges. So keep pushing now. All right, into that rep with a pulse. You've got this. Okay, let's get into that hold. Let's go. Squat down as low as is comfortable. 20 seconds left. Remember, we're on the floor after this. So, oh, if you need to come up for a couple seconds, do so, but then get right back into it. 10 seconds left. Keep pushing everyone. Ay, 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 my legs. <sighs> All right, we finished with the floor exercises and we've also only got four exercises left. So we're way over halfway through this workout. Next, we're gonna be going into some single leg glute bridges. So we're gonna be laying on the floor. Heel pushes into the floor into that single leg glute bridge. I know by this point, your legs are probably burning. So remember, we're doing the best that we can. Even if that means going a bit slower. All right, shake it out. And then we're going into that rep with a pulse. So bridge up, a little bit down, and then up. Trying to keep your core tucked in, so your belly button tucked in. And really pushing up, digging your heel into the ground. All right, shake it out. And you know the drill, we've got 30 second hold. So bridge up and hold. Keep going. Amazing work, everyone. Rest for 30 seconds, and then we're going into that 
other side. Whew. I'm starting to sweat, I don't know about you. So let's go into that other side. We're bridging up and down. Remember, just normal reps now. Play around with the position of your foot. See what feels more comfortable and where you can feel it more in your glutes. Perfect. So now we're going into that rep with a pulse at the top. So bridge up and then pulse. Shake it out for a few seconds if you need. And then let's go into that hold. Keep pushing now, everyone. Come on. I know it's burning, but keep holding. And rest. Oh. If your glutes aren't on fire, then I don't know what to tell you. Because <laughs> mine definitely are. All right. We're staying on the floor for the last two exercises. So grab some water if you need. And next, to really make sure we've burned those glutes out completely, we're going to be going into some double leg glute bridges. All right, so let's go on the floor. We're bridging up. Remember, belly button tucked in, spine neutral. And we're pushing our heels into the ground, squeezing our bum at the top. This should at least feel a bit easier than those single leg glute bridges. All right, and now we're going into that wrap with the pulse at the top. So bridge up, down, and pulse. Whew. With the pulse, even this unweighted double leg glute bridge is spicy. Keep going there. Second to last exercise here. All right, and let's go into that hold. Don't give up now. Pelvis tucked under, heels on the ground, and we're squeezing our bums. Keep breathing. Only one more exercise after this. And rest. Hi, hi, hi. Oh, starting to lose all the sensation in my glutes. But we're almost finished with this workout, everyone. Just one more exercise left. You're doing so well. Oh. All right, back down on the floor. This time our heels are gonna be further out, our feet further out, and only our heels are on the ground. And we're bridging up into a hamstring bridge. So your feet should be further out, meaning that we feel this more in our hamstrings. And you can play around with it, but I prefer having my feet and only my, my feet off the ground and only my heels on the ground to really feel it in those hamstrings. All right, so now we're bridging up, doing a tiny mini pulse, because there's not much range of motion here. 
and then coming back down. Remember, this is the last exercise, so don't give up now. All right, and we're bridging up into that hold. 30 seconds here. Keep pushing. Last 30 seconds. And that's it. Amazing work, everyone. That's your 25 minute lower body calisthenics workout complete. Especially after those last few exercises, my glutes are fried, my hamstrings are fried. So grab some water and I think we definitely, pardon me, we definitely need to stretch out those muscles a little bit. All right, so first thing we're gonna do, stretching out the glutes and the lower back, we're gonna have one leg extended, one leg crossing over, and we're gonna look behind our opposite shoulder. Perfect, and now we're really gonna grab this leg, the one that's crossed over, and really hug it into our torsos, feeling a nice stretch here in the glute. Perfect, and we're gonna extend that leg out, bring the other leg, cross it over, and first we're going into that twist. So, looking over, the opposite shoulder. Perfect, and now we're gonna bring this leg in. Really bring it as tightly into your chest as you can, getting that nice stretch in the glute. All right, now we're just gonna fold forward, trying to touch our toes, push your chest forward towards your legs, getting a nice stretch in those hamstrings. And keep breathing. Perfect. Now, we're just gonna go into a lunge. We're gonna have our chest upright. We're gonna bring our knee in if we need to. And we're really gonna think about tucking our pelvis in. So squeezing our glutes and pushing our hips forward, feeling a nice stretch in that hip flexor. Perfect. And now we're just gonna allow ourselves to fall forwards a little bit, leaning forward, opening up those hips. You can push out on your front knee slightly with the front arm. All right, and now we're pushing our hips back, straightening out that front leg, getting a little bit deeper into that hamstring stretch. Perfect, and now we're gonna do the exact same on the other side. So first, bringing ourselves into that short lunge, pushing our hips forward, tucking our bum underneath, really feeling that nice stretch in the hip flexor of the back leg. And then allowing ourselves to fall forward a little bit, really opening up those hips, pushing out our front knee. Perfect, and now pushing our hips back into that hamstring stretch. Make sure your front leg is as straight as possible.
And now we're just gonna put the soles of our feet together, pushing down on our knees, getting that nice inner thigh stretch. You might hear a crack or two like I just did. We can move our knees from side to side, just opening up those inner hips, inner thighs I should say, adductors. Perfect, and now we're just gonna put our back on the floor. We're gonna bring ourselves into almost figure four stretch. So one leg at a 90 degree angle, the other leg crossed over, ankle or knee, and our hand is on the back of our thigh. We're pulling our leg in while pushing the opposite knee out. And breathe, really feeling a nice stretch in that glute and that outer hip here. And switch sides. So other leg at 90 degree angle, crossing our other leg over, hand behind thigh, hand on knee, and we're pushing in. Well, we're pulling our back leg in and pushing our front knee out. And breathe, feeling a nice stretch in the opposite glute, the outer hip. Perfect, and now we're just gonna bring our knees into our chest and take a few breaths here. And the last one, we're just gonna grab the soles of our feet, below our feet, and we're bringing our legs out into that happy baby pose. Just a few breaths here, and then we'll be done with the workout. Perfect, all right, come up to sitting, standing, and that was it, that was your 25 minute lower body calisthenics workout. I hope you enjoyed it, I hope I convinced you that you can still get a really good workout in, a good burn, a good sweat in, even just using your body weight without using any weights at all. Of course, to build the maximum muscle, it is beneficial to overload um, yourself with weights every time. So for example, using three kilo, then five kilo, then six kilo, eight kilo dumbbells, etc., etc., and repeating the same moves until eventually you can use a barbell, go heavier into the gym. But we don't always have the time for that. We don't always have the energy for that. We don't always have the money to buy ourselves a bunch of gym equipment. So I really hope you appreciate these kinds of no equipment workouts that are still for the general population going to give you a really good workout. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Like the video if you did. Comment with what the most painful exercise was for you, what part of the body you felt it most in. Also comment with any suggestions you have for me to improve, any videos, video ideas you might have, because I'm always looking for feedback. And yeah, thank you so much for joining. If you're still feeling a bit tight in the glutes, the hamstrings, the lower body, go to my channel, Live Well With Nicola, check out any of my other kind of lower body stretches. I do have a few on there already. Maybe by the time you're watching this, I'll have a lot more, I don't know. And yeah, subscribe to my channel. We're in the Strong and Lean program right now, which is running for six weeks. So definitely hit the notification bell, follow along with those workouts if you wish. And yeah, I really hope you have a great rest of the day, great rest of the week, and I hope to see you soon. Bye.